Hey, what's up, you all? I'm your dude, Chris. I have autism here. About to take my dog out for a walk. Want to go for a walk, Joel? Still ahead in our next Let's go. See, she's sitting still and waiting for me to put the leash on her. Here you go, baby. All right, hold on. All right. Come on, let's go for a walk. Your crawl space may be putting your health in danger and you don't even know it. Protect your greatest asset and call JES today. Owned and operated by professional Yeah, we're going out for a bit. We're out for a walk for a bit. Hold on. A little bit nippy out here. But it is what it is. It's a nice cool breeze. A lot of the wetness had dried up. Looks like it's going to be another cloudy day. It seems as of this point that it just feels like the summer is officially over. And now we're going, in, now we're in like the, about to get head into the mid months of October since we're already in October. But right as of right now, I think we're just in the middle of that month as I would consider it. If you consider uh, October 9th to be the middle of October, then yeah, we are in the middle of October then. This is when I uh, probably will start going to the gym more. And uh, hopefully if it's not too rainy, I might go to the gym tomorrow, Thursday. Because it is a Wednesday, it is October 9th, 2019. And tomorrow, on the 10th, I have off, I believe, if I'm reading my schedule correctly. I haven't been to the gym in a dog's age. <laughs> no pun intended. So, yeah. Hear that? No pun intended, Joel. Dog's age. <laughs> I'm so corny. Me so horny. Me so corny. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <sighs> yeah. So we just walk in out in this night here, this glo this you know gloomy night, not this gloomy night, but this gloomy warning. It just feels like night, doesn't it? It's actually what time is it now? It's six thirty-one a.m. Six. It is six thirty-one a.m. and it feels like it's fucking nine thirty p.m. The time zones just change so drastically once the summer's gone. It's like, uh, you get so used to it bringing brighter out, you know. And sh I'm pretty sure without a doubt we are going to get snow in January like we always do. And when it snows, it's going to snow freaking hard, y'all. And in that case, oh uh, well, oh well. I'll be recording that too. What's that, Joel? Don't leave that alone. Could be a dirty diaper. Who knows? Nah, it's just a piece of uh, paper towel. It's a paper napkin all wet and shit oh, oh. hey
module stop pulling on me. Check the mail. Up this way. Come on. The car's coming. Car is coming. Car is coming. Yep. Let's roll. Come on, Joel. Praise and the fact that there's no mosquitoes out. Yeah, those real those those bastards are really chewing those up. Yeah, those mosquitoes come out during the summer, especially after it rains and it's all muggy. As if it wasn't as if the muggy weather wasn't bad enough, and then you got mosquitoes to add that fuel to the fire of things. And it's like, oh my god, I don't want to deal with this shit. You know, they just, it's as if it wasn't bad enough, as if it wasn't bad enough that when it rains in the summer, it gets muggy because the moisture in the air heats up. Then to add fuel to that fire, you have mosquitoes eating the shit out of you. Oh my God, you're like a fucking buffet. Yeah, it's cold out. As it gets colder, no mosquitoes coming out here feast on me. Oh, they can't stand that cold weather, so they go off somewhere else and hibernate. And then they're out again when the summer comes around. It's like a cycle. The circle of life. The cycle of life. Come on, furball. Yeah. And what would you know? Is that right, Joel? <laughs> she just turned and looked at me. Come on, baby. What you scared of? You okay? Don't worry, babes. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit brighter out. But it's, you see, it's so cloudy. I think it's going to be like this all day. You know, who knows? It might clear up. Who knows? We'll see. In any case, you know, I got my clothes ready and shit. And, uh, be ready to go to work. Work another day. You know, you work for money. That's gonna get paid for. And so, here I go. Still making that minimum wage of seven twenty-five an hour. Oh well. I just found out the Wendy's that I work for is not owned by corporate. It's a pri it was it's owned it's pri it's owned by an owner, privately owned by an owner. 
it's a private owner, I think it's what they call it. Usually, if corporate was running the show, things would be so much better in that Wendy's, you know, efficiently wise. But a lot of the times, you get away with stuff in this Wendy's because Wendy, this Wendy's I work at, is just owned by one person, a private owner. They, I think that's what they call it. It's not owned by corporate. But if the owner doesn't do what he's supposed to, and the health department comes and sees that things are not, uh, not that there are a lot of things that are not up to par, if, cor if the health administration gets involved, then they would report to corporate, and then corporate will take over. They'll shut the Wendy's down that I work at, and then corporate will take over. Or corporate will, better yet, corporate will have it demolished. And I'll have no place to work. So that's where, oh, this is the kind of uh, bit of challenge I face there. But I get paid. And the owner of that Wendy's is going by the, he's, it's a, Got he's a man who goes by the name of Sam, and he also has a son who's watching over the cameras, making sure things are not are going the way they're supposed to. And periodically, I think there's been I've heard there's been cases where people will just sneak nuggets during the work shift hours, and they'll sneak food, and a lot of times they've gotten caught and gotten in trouble, gotten fired. Or to, you know, an automatic termination. You're not playing around. These rules were always enforced. These rules were always there, but they were never really truly enforced. I think until recently. But as we're in competition with other Wendy's, the bookings and all, we're numbers. We're the top number ten. We're in the top ten. What are the top 10 Wendy's? I think we're positioned to number five on the spot. And I think being positioned number five within the top 10 out of like hundreds or if not thousands of Wendy's is a pretty good, is a pretty good damn setup. It's pretty damn good for private owned Wendy's. But that's all I got to talk about. Peace out y'all.